Veterans Day is Sunday and local events kick off tomorrow at noon with the parade in Santa Barbara. But one couple honors veterans all year long at home with an impressive military collection. It's just different pictures of um, airplanes a celebration of the Battle of Britain. You can't help but feel enveloped by patriotism while walking the halls of the Blankenship home. You got to salute the major. Part yeah. memorial, part museum. This is the former Navy pilot's homage, not just to the world's militaries, but to the men and women in uniform who've served. And here's the basically the uniform room here. Everything from a four-star general to a Panzer Corps Captain, Captain Waffenrock. This room holds the bulk of the couple's collection. It is open to the public with a reservation. We've seen everyone from school children coming through to um, World War II vets. Some 800 people come through each year eyeing the model airplanes and the aircraft carriers. These are canteens. This is British and Canadian. This is a German canteen, Italian canteen, American canteen. Among his prized possessions. This helmet here is a Prussian heavy cavalry helmet. Given to Blankenship by a former Navy commander turned realtor. He was in college at the time. He found that abandoned in a vacant lot in Montecito. And he said, this is, you're the only guy I'd know to want something like that. He points out a wall of helmets from World War One. Uh, these are all the Frenchies. Uh, that's all Japanese up there. War trinkets found during various trips to battlefields dot the collection. And some of the shell casings are still there after 70 some odd years. Across the room, another rare find. Brought back out of the desert of Iraq. And the unusual. This is about in the 1800s. There was um, the uh, warlord of Niger. Um, that was his ceremonial helmet to wear. And so it's actually a coconut shell. A museum quality collection honoring our military heroes year round. I think it's an important part of, of our community and our society that we do that.